We just had the story, Josh, about has pumpkin spice gone too far? I say yes. Never. Yes. Never. Pumpkin spice scented trash bags? Too much. Yeah, or too deodorant. Ugh. I mean, come on. That would be a turn off for me. <laughs> no, well, when I come over to the desk, you'll be able to uh, catch a whiff Ugh, of it. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, but you've got our pumpkin spice alert. Uh, yeah, you know, temperatures are cooler out there here across the Pacific Northwest as we anticipate yet again the return of those light rain showers pushing their way through much of the Pacific Northwest. But over the past week or so, we've seen a little bit of everything for everyone. Some nice moon views with a nice 22 degree halo. We can't forget about our comet views as well along with rainbows and the snow flurries up in elevation. As we take a live look right now at those light rain showers pushing their way through the Portland area, the cloudy skies remaining as temperatures. Yeah, very much so on the cool side. Only 53 degrees is where we're currently sitting with that moisture pushing its way from the northwest down towards the south and east. Those yellows and oranges, a good indication of where some of the heaviest of the downpours are expected. But you'll notice a little bit of the drier air moving in on the backside of the system that will be working its way back into the Pacific Northwest later this evening. We've got a few snow flurries up in elevation as well as Mount Hood. The peak of it eclipsed from the cloud coverage over the past several hours, but anticipate an additional snowflake or two as low as about 5,000 feet. It does start to retreat as we move into some warmer conditions for the weekend and it dips once again right around that 5,000 foot elevation for Monday into Tuesday with the next chance for some wet weather as we hold on to that shower potential through the rest of the afternoon. By the late evening time frame, we dry things out, but we keep the cloud coverage as temperatures fall back into the mid 50s. Now I had mentioned about the comet views. It's going to continue to get higher in the sky. You want to look to the west just north or just above Venus about 30 minutes after sunset. But of course, your best window of opportunity is going to be on Saturday where we have the less amount of cloud coverage or the least. As far as the rain accumulation goes, a lot of zeros right now, but we'll start to see these numbers trickle in over the next several hours as the hit and miss showers continue to push their way from the coast to the I-5 corridor. Snow flurries up in elevation again above 5,000 feet, so very low impact to those mountain passes as we hold on to those mostly cloudy skies right around 7 or so. 7 and then into 8, 9, you might have the potential to see the comet before it dips below the horizon. And then into Sunday, we prepare for yet again another round of the wet weather. But in addition to what we've already managed to pick up on as far as the rain totals go, maybe close to a half inch for the coast, maybe just a couple of one hundredths of an inch for the I-5 quarter as we are in preparation for our second atmospheric river of the autumn season. It's the moisture flow from about the state of Hawaii across the Pacific into the Pacific Northwest. So for today, those hit and miss showers remain temperatures only getting up into the upper 50s. We only fall to the low to mid 50s for tonight and our seven day forecast. It does show some drying for Saturday, but again, maybe a raindrop or two is a very real potential. The wetter weather returns with the atmospheric river Sunday. That takes us into Monday as well with mild temperatures for much of next week. And I want to give you a heads up. Hey, tomorrow at OMSI starting at 10 o'clock, the Oregon chapter of the American Meteorological Society is hosting its winter weather forecast conference. A lot of local meteorologists, including the Coin Six weather team, mm -hmm. will be in attendance. And this is really kind of where we break down what we think is going to happen for the winter season here in the Pacific Northwest. So mm. a really good informational time there. So what do we think is going to happen? Uh, well, we have La Nina into play. Oh, okay. That means cold. Uh, well, you warmer? can head to coin.com right now, uh, and Kelly Bairn okay. has updated us You're on make exactly. Me work. Yeah. I see. We that can't I just, just give get it away. The quick and easy answers no, right here. Not here. All right. <laughs> no fun. We'll be right back. Stick around.